So we're here at the JCB booth at the Landscape Ontario Show Congress 2020. I am checking out the One CXT. It's the first time I'm seeing this ultra compact tractor loader backhoe. So I'm here with Eric from JCB, who's going to hopefully run us through a lot of the new um, features of this. Because as I understand, this was a machine that existed 10 years ago in a wheeled format. They recently redesigned it, brought it back out in a, a track format to kind of fit um, a market niche. So uh, there is no other machine like this that exists, right? So. Yeah, you're correct. So yeah, so I'm Eric from uh, Jade Equipment. We are a uh, JCB dealership here, uh, just in Aurelia, covering uh, kind of center Ontario. So yeah, so that new uh, 1CX is a brand new machine for us. Uh, we're quite excited. Uh, it filled another segment of our backhoe lineup. Uh, JCB is well known for our backhoe. We got our full size 3CX, we got our 3CX compact, and now we just brought back the 1CXT. Uh, other market overseas, they do have a wheel version of it, right. but here in North America, we decided just to bring the track version. Uh, overall, our sale number, we, we tend to sell a bit more track models, so that, that's what we're bringing at the moment. Uh, the machine comes as a what we call a mono spec for the time being, so what we see here on the floor, that's how it comes. Wow. So it will be ordered with buckets front and back. Uh, we bring them with an uh, next to the O at the back. Uh, it can be spe special order with a, a, a fixed stick at the back if we want to. The one we see here on the floor will have a, a range of 10 feet uh, of depth if you want to use it. So what's the extension on the dipper itself? Do you have to know? Uh, I don't have that exact spec with me, yeah, no uh, but overall deep depth uh, fully extended is 10 feet. 10 foot, yeah, okay, yeah. cool. Something you probably notice, side shift at the back, so right. that's quite neat. Side shift is always nice if you're trying to uh, dig a square. Right. So you can just uh, slide your hoe at the back. Uh, and also another neat feature of it too, if you're traveling, slide it on one side, bend the hoe, oh, and it will yeah. be the same width as the machine. Exactly, so with this you don't have that kingpin sticking out that you are uh, obstructed by. Correct. You can tuck the boom up against the rear of the machine, or the other benefit is that you can sh side shift over if you're digging up against a wall so that your bucket yep. can hug the side. Yeah, against a wall, or if, for example, you've got a customer, a uh, by example, you will be able to dig a square right. without shifting the machine, so right. quite efficient. Uh, so to clarify on this, it's a manual side shift, yep. so you have to actually use the bucket and the arm to push and the carriage across, yep, and correct. then there's four disc brakes on the carriage, yep. so you can lock at any position within, you're not fixed where you have to lock on end or end, Yep. you can lock at any position. Any position you want, uh, and don't worry, it will not slide out of his, uh, of his awesome. slot. So, so quite neat here, and you still got stabilizer leg on it if you need to, mm -hmm. uh, but again, the track gives you great stability on it. Something not to forget, that machine is built as a backhoe. It is not a backhoe attachment. It is built from ground up as a backhoe. So fully balanced, fully stable, nothing to worry on that All side. Right. Okay. Do you know what the uh, overall lift height of the machine is? Yeah, so the your, what we call load over is about 8.8. Uh, 8.8 .8. will be that. Uh, lift capacity, uh, 2,200 pounds. So, and so it should load pretty much every dual axle unless you got bored on it, depend, sure. depend on the customer, so sure. we can verify that. And the front, the other benefit is it's a standard skid steer mount, so any skid steer attachment on yep. the market will be able to fit onto yep. that. So we decided to bring a skid steer attachment for us because it's more versatile in our market, so right. any current skid steer customer can use the attachment, can be snowblower, spade, bucket, fork. Uh, coming back to the fork, it is a self-leveling as it goes up. Uh, we call our front end uh, a tool carrier style. So full visibility, fully level when it goes up and down. Something I want to point out is that, um, if, correct me if I'm wrong, you're able to reposition the machine without spinning the operator's chair fully around. You're full, fully right, which is a neat, it's a neat thing. What's happening, the control follow the seat. So you can be facing back at a toggle of a switch, move the machine. Awesome. So that, that's a neat idea. A neat system, and most of our full-size backhoe now are coming Have with that, it. Right, uh, right. It's what we call a super easy control, right. or advanced easy control, that's all we call so it. If you're digging with a machine like this, you don't have the cab that rotates like you would with a mini excavator, or a dedicated excavating unit, so with the, with the operator seat pointed back, if you need to reposition the machine, you don't necessarily have to spin around to operate the loader function. You can switch the switch on the actual side panel here, and then that'll reactivate the joysticks to, to operate the tracks. Let's talk about the interior a little bit. Yeah, for sure. While we're walking that way, something also important to uh, notify on the machine, the machine's got iFlow on it. 
So you can run a snowblower on it, a uh, hammer if you need to, a breaker. The machine come with high flow standard, uh, basically 26 gallon a minute. So do you get high flow to the dipper as well too? or It's going to be relevant at the back, uh, but there, there's auxiliary connection at the back, yes. So we're in the cab now, I'm pointed forwards towards the loader arm, so you can see I got pretty good leg room, maybe five inches in, in front of my knees. Looks like we have a selector here for throttle, and then there's a foot throttle as well. So this would be your fixed RPM, and then if you wanted a boost with the foot pedal. Down here, there are HVAC controls, so your temperature and then fan settings, AC, 12 volt outlet. There are one, two, three HVAC openings, so vent openings on the um, dashboard, I guess you would call it here. And then there's this window defroster that's pointing up, a light overhead. And then there's an arm back here that I can spin around with. So now I'm facing the backhoe position. Controls are seat mounted joysticks. So these are electric over hydraulic. Down there, there's a selector knob that you can turn. So between SAE and ISO, the two levers here, if you can see those, they operate the stabilizers. So there's a stabilizer on each side of the machine that comes up and down, obviously. So you can correct yourself on uneven terrain and also stabilize yourself on um, rocky areas or something like that. So this knob here, you pull it and it's for the braking system. So there's a brake on the carriage, four brakes actually, that allow you to unlock and slide that carriage over. It's a manual slide, it's not powered. So when you release the brakes, you're gonna have to swing over with the arm and push and then that'll slide to wherever it wants to, to sit and then you can lock it again, right? So down here there's another valve that you can turn and that'll change the auxiliary hydraulics on the dipper from uh, single flow to dual flow. So on the side control panel here, there are six rocker switches along with a, a gauge that shows you A, your RPM and probably your fuel, but this is off right now, obviously. Parking brake. There is a selector between loader and backhoe operation, so that determines what these controls are doing. Uh, auxiliary, and then this is your lighting, and then this is your auxiliary, so that would be your dipper extension, and then this is um, windshield washer. That's a suspension seat here. Headroom if you have a hard hat on. So just to run through some specs on the machine, Dump height overall is uh, 7 foot 3, load over height is 8 foot 8, tipping loads 4,100 pounds. It's a four, powered by a 49 horse Perkins tier 4, so no def fluid, no DPF as well. Transport weights under 9,600 pounds, so it's important to note that it can be towed without a CDL, depending on your local regulations. 26 GPM auxiliary circuit, so that's a high flow hydraulics and the extendable dipper has a maximum dig depth of 10 feet 1 inch with a maximum reach of 12 foot 10 inches. 